my Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're back out on the canal. Monkey's been wanting to do some fishing. So, I said, well, let's go fishing. So, I played hooky on putting the uh, fuel pump in the John Deere. So, we're out here. So, I'm going to get these poles baited up here. And, uh, well, my lines. And uh, we'll get casted out. I did bring my body cam, but I don't think I'm going to wear it today. Um, just because it's just too hot. <laughs> you know, that heavy thing hanging on me. Um, it's not the best anyway, but, you know, it's something. But I don't know if I'm going to wear it today. I probably won't, so I'll just have to get you turned around and stuff whenever I need to. So stick around. Let's get casted out here. There's one. There's two. So Gotta find a rag or something to cover you guys up when I'm not filming because sitting right in the sun so you don't get too hot so hang tight I'll kick you back on when I get a bite okay so I'm getting a bite been about a minute and a half I shut you off went and got a rag right out of the trucks right here and I come back to a bite so doesn't feel very big because usually they'll just take them. This is on the Black Max. So yeah, monkey wanted to come fishing, so we thought we'd get out. We're just a couple minutes from the house, so maybe five minutes from the house we're not gonna stay out real long but because her mom hasn't been feeling well so now well, let's check our bait feels like it's on yeah it's on there Give her another cast here. I'm just casting out this one, the banana rod. It's kind of straight out from where it is and then uh, I can't see what you guys are seeing but the Black Max, just like last time there's some lily pads out here to the left of me and that's where it's casted at so anyway and it's got a bite on it let me see try to bring you up here a little bit closer to the action Still don't know what you're seeing but that's the banana rod and then mother rods right here beside me here so but another hot day today but hopefully we'll get something other than a turtle because <laughs> it's been raining all week had a storm yesterday. Man, we got a storm rolling in. Power's always already flickered like three times. Yeah, 
wheels. And it hasn't rained today, so that's good. But usually that's good fishing, like right before it rains, right after it rains, or during a rain. But that's usually some good fishing. I got something nibbling on the Black Max over here. Haven't had any bites on this yet, but we've only been here about five minutes, so kick you on when things start getting real. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm getting some bites here. I don't know what you can see and what you can't. I don't think they're very big ones yet, but they are hitting, so... if we can bring something in even a bluegill anything but a damn turtle <laughs> he's still hitting just using um some chicken gizzards right now dipped in uh the blood from chicken livers oh now i got one on the yellow pole too the banana rod man this road's busy today You guys can see that. See it? It's kind of going down and might be something small on it. And there's something on the other one right now. It just dropped it. Usually when they do that they'll come back after it and take it back out. Fish on. All right, let me back you up here a little bit. As long as he don't tangle me up in something, we'll be all right. I think he's got me in some moss down in there. And I've only got eight pound line on this thing and there it snapped, damn it. <sighs> Felt pretty decent. I mean, nothing huge, but Yeah, it snapped it right where my hook goes. So I gotta put another hook on that one. I got something hitting on this one here now. Let's see if we can get it. I thought that was nothing, it's not even in the water. Okay, well let me get let me get the banana rod. Um, let me get another hook on it. We'll get it baited up, get it back out to the back out in the water. Well, shoot. Still something hitting on this one. I 
I'm going to pick it up, it goes away. I'm going to let that one bite for a minute. Let me get a hook on the banana rod and get it rebated, and we'll get casted back out. I'll get you guys turned back on. At least we had one on. There's a lot of moss down in there. I see some grass growing. He got me down in that, and this 8-pound line is not very, you know... I tried to let him go out some, but he was already had me tangled, so. All right, guys, hang tight. Okay, so I'm getting another bite on the banana rod here. Just heard monkey say, oh, no. <laughs> I'm waiting on her to say, babe, or she'll bring her pole down like if she got it snagged or something. She'll bring it down for me to rehook the fish on. He's little, but he's a fish. There we go. Bruno's in the truck. <laughs> I hear him locking and unlocking the door. The windows are down. He's cool in there. It's a nice, a nice bluegill. him off here we'll get him back in get cast back out so I'm one up on monkey would have been two but I've just got a little piece of meat on that one but there he is nice little bluegill he's eating size but I'm not gonna keep him again I forgot my stringer so he's back in the water now let's get casted back out here about the same spot because usually they swim in schools that's why they're so smart you know but uh they swim in schools so if i can get back out about where i was i should get another another hit ah uh, out there where I was about and then uh, I'll kick you back on when something else happens I just had a pretty good hit on the black max as soon as I shut you off and cast it out it was kind of like a runner still hitting on it Monkey still hasn't hollered for me yet, so maybe she had one get off. Here we go, come on. Doesn't feel very big, but we'll take him, right? Still feel him on there while well, he's tugging on it. But I got in some moss there. Yeah, I was in some moss. He got me in some moss. And I got another hit on the banana rod. cigarettes 
I know, you shouldn't be smoking, but man, I get so many comments. Stop smoking. You shouldn't smoke. It's bad for your health. That's why you're huffing and puffing. No, you can ask my doctor. It has nothing to do with smoking. My issue is from birth, so. And people shouldn't judge like that. I don't tell people what to do if they're smoking dope. I don't tell them what to do. I just, I just don't do it and I don't be around. Just people anymore, you know, they just wanna, they just wanna tell other people what they're doing wrong. I shouldn't smoke, but they probably eat at McDonald's every day. So, you know what I mean? Ridiculous. Let's get this one cast back out because I think he brought me in a little bit. Come on. And I got a hit on the Black Max. Damn it. Not a runner, but he's hitting. Sorry about the wind. Come on. As soon as you start getting into the edge, there's a lot of moss and weeds down there. Down there. wind don't help when you're using very light line and very light weights about halfway out so that should be all right for now um all right give it a couple minutes see what happened well he's still hitting well i got a hit on this one too they're hitting but i think they're small cast this it's not I'm not getting where I want to get because of the wind that's why I hate fishing when it's windy but it does cool me down a little bit Jesus. and every time I go to cast of course the wind comes it's another thing you can hear the wind real bad on my body camera. That's better. Let that one sink and then I'll tighten it up. I'll be back with you. So, monkey just came up, got Bruno. Her bait had a whole bunch of ants in it. <laughs> Pour some water or something on it, you know. Uh, whole bunch of them. What do I do? Get them off of there. They're hitting pretty good, but I think they're all small. I just, uh, they're not, you know, actually taking, taking the bait, you know, they're not getting it in their mouth. said she had two both of them got off so she said you catch anything I didn't answer her so <laughs> let her watch the video and find out something pulling on it let's see if I can set the hook It stopped every time I pick up the, the rod, it'll stop. That banana rod, I don't think I can. I can't recommend it. The tip, just the very end of it, keeps coming out like every third cast. You have to check. If you forget to check it, it's, you know, 
and then you got to reel in, you got to fix it. And I know I had a comment, man. This, this, you ever hear it? Glue? It's only been around for about 40 years. Well, number one, glue's been around longer than 40 years, and number two, kind of defeats the purpose of having a rod I can take apart and put in my pack. I think it'd be all right for that. Um, but as far as this constant fishing, I don't think, you know, I don't think it, you know, it just comes apart too much. But just to have, you know, in my pack, I think, I think it'd be all right for that because it'd be better than not having anything, you know what I mean? At least that way I could pack in and do a little bit of fishing. Yeah, but they are hitting. They're just small fish, so I don't know where the big ones are. I can actually see the wake. They're coming kind of up to the top. I can't see the fish, but I can see the wake of the fish when they're swimming by me. They're not very big. <laughs> But at least we've got one so far. Oh no, monkey lost her rod. How'd you lose your rod? I don't know, but you got anything? Where is it? Right there. Did you have a hit? Yeah. Took it away from me. Where is it? It's right there. In the water. Bruno, come here. I don't think you can get it without getting wet. Oh man. We're gonna stop. Welcome. I thought it was a goner goner. <sighs> so, monkey just lost her rod. <laughs> I got a back for her though. Whew. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I didn't get mine back. Huh? You said welcome to your world. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Whew. And she tells me hurry. <laughs> oh crap. I'm getting a hit on old yellow here or the banana, whatever. <laughs> See it? Alright. Whew. I got one on the other one too. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> I gotta get sat down, guys. Hurry! <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can get it without getting wet. It don't matter. It's part of fishing. Sometimes you get wet. <laughs> Sometimes you fall down the bank. Trying to help. Your significant other <laughs> all right guys i'll be back with you fish on number two catfish Got me in the weeds. All right, let's get the net. All right. 
There he is. All right. Let's get him off the hook here. I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't. Probably won't weigh him because he's not real big. Same one we caught last time, that brown whatever it was. What are you guys looking at here? Yeah, he swallowed the hook. Alright, I'm going to get the hook out of his mouth. We'll throw him back in. Pretty good size eating there though. And there he is. Nice fish. I forget what it's called. I'll put it in the screen. A brown something. See, he's got this fin down underneath him there. All right. Go beans. Fish number two. Got something messing around with the black. What is it? The black Max here. I don't know if he's on there or what. Feels like he is. Oh man, seaweed on my on my line. That'll cause you to miss him every time. Man. Oh well. Because I felt it and then I felt it come off, so. Whoa. That was a runner. Then it stopped. <laughs> as soon as I pick it up. At least the catfish are hitting now, so. Alright guys. Monkey came down, got some chicken livers. She's gonna try the livers. They like that stuff. You know, when you're fishing on bottom. Catfish carp, bluegill, bass will eat them, eat it. Did I say catfish? Of course catfish. Gar, they like that kind of stuff. So this big swampy mess out here just right over top of my line. So we still got something little tiny hit on here nope I think it got off yep all right we'll get casted back out there okay guys I think monkey's getting ready to pack up they're hitting pretty good they're just small I think I had three get away from me, so <clears throat> by the time I reach around and turn the camera on, you know, I let the slack off of him. And then, but they weren't nothing huge, anything huge. So I think she's up there doing her outro right now. <laughs> but she brought something to the truck and then went back. <laughs> so I think that's what she's getting ready to do, so. Wait, let's just see if we can get one more here. Got a bite.
I just don't think they're big enough to get the whole bait and hook in their mouth. I think they're just eating around the hook. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one. So, bye-bye, guys. Take care. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Change the plans. I think she said it was 7 to 17. She's going to take Bruna home. She's going to feed her mom. Then she's going to come back out about 8.30. So, we're going to fish it a little longer. I told her we caught two, but... I don't know if she believed me or not, but she'll find out when she watches the video. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get the Black Max baited up again and get it thrown out and see if we can catch another fish. Fish on. Oh, nice flop. He's a fighter. There we go. We got a bow fin. All right. There he is. Now I've got to get my pliers. Where'd I put them? I packed everything up, but I didn't take my pliers out of here, did I? Nope, there they are. All right. Let's get the hook out of his mouth. I'll have to retie because these things have teeth and if they go along if they go against your your line it'll fray your line out and your line won't be any good but I like to get the hooks out of their mouths whenever I can What you guys are seeing here. There we go. Got a hold of him, won't let go. There we go, we saved the hook, we saved the fish. Pretty good eating size there, but uh, we're gonna throw him back. That's fish number three. So I'm gonna put him back in the water, I'm gonna get tied up again, and we'll get back out there. Fish on. Fish number four here. Catfish. Yep, we got another catfish. Let me set him down here. There he is. Another one of those uh, brown, whatever it is. <laughs> So, all right, that's what, number four? So we've got two catfish, a bowfin, 
and a bluegill. Let me get him off the hook and get him in the water. Let's get back at it. That monkey picked me up a lighter today. Got a fish on it. <laughs> Just noticed that. Thanks, monk. Brought me luck, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, so this time it's for real. I see monkey coming up the street here. Street, road. <laughs> so, that's my cue. I gotta get packed up. We're out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Again, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. For real, this time. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.